passing strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. It is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? Powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city. But there's something different about it. Its light is impure. We need to get closer. Oh, so that one's Alfino. Well, unless you're triplets. Kaishia. What are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. You see, that informant who's been feeding secrets to the Crystarium, it's me. See, after you saved my life in Newmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave. Not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. And whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Vorfree starts ranting and raving. You could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nut, shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pie. Tis like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in our meringue. So eventually the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now that's when everyone went funny. Not everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfri after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You will doze this stuff out. No, it it couldn't be. I, I know what it is. It's sin eater. Meal is made out of sin eater. So it is. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthry wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up sin eaters and feeding them to people, altering them mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back. There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. 
This is unforgivable. An atrocity. These Sin Eaters. What if they are not simply rounded up? Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter, but none leave. Let us put an end to it, to this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vortra's deeds are beyond justification, beyond forgiveness. Evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there, and I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming, and they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge, his own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Vortra's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. As if we ever would. Press on with Alphano. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can. Find my master in his chamber. But only should you kill me this day, and you will not. think me under his spell, but I uphold Lord Vorthrae's ideals of my own volition. Man is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he but sows the seeds of future conflict. Thus have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men. Upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience. But enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. Come! Let us settle this once and for all!
Lord Vothry, your reign of tyranny is at an end. For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused. And if you harbour even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man! Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Unseated? No, 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 no. It's impossible! Inconceivable! Absurd! I am a great and wise king! Greatest and wisest! I reign from on high! I will not be brought low by maggots like you! Oh, yes. Of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. Oh, God. No. Stop him! Thank Chris, stop him! That is Mount Gorg, the highest peak in Calusia. It lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, 
There are people here who need our help. Oh, Alpha, no. Please, even if it's only to tend to their wounds. Thank you. I don't know if it will work, but if Vorthri's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. Well then, if it's decided, let's all get to work. 